Giant bluefin tuna are the most valuable fish on this planet. My favorite fish to catch. In this video, I'll be taking you all back to Moorhead City, North Carolina, fishing for these giants in under 60 feet of water within six miles of the beach, and going through the whole process of behind the scenes of the real commercial bluefin tuna industry. This is stuff you will never ever see on TV. Here is the real wicked tuna. Well, good morning, guys. Happy 2024. We are back in the wonderful Moorhead City, North Carolina, for the January quota of the bluefin season. We've never been here in January. So, uh, fun new thing. I mean, we love it. We wait all year for the December and the February seasons. Why not go in January, too? So, going out to go bluefin fish. I need to show you guys these new rods that I got. Zach Custom Rods. This picture that I'm showing you on the screen right here is why we got these rods. My philosophy behind rods is a really strong backbone with a lot of bend. So there's a lot of forgiveness on violent head shakes. Um, you lose a lot less fish that way, which is Zach's philosophy on these rods. This is a spiralized blank. So usually when you're fighting a fish, if the rod's going like that, like going that way, better like that, the guides will twist that way as well. These, these guys will always stay straight up because of the spiralized blank, see that? So the the guys are never gonna fold over like that. Of course, we got Mac Daddy right here, the 80 wide. Yeah, look how long these rods are compared to our other rods. We're turning into real bluefin fishermen now. Fake until you make them, all right? But currently, we do not have any bait. Uh, we're gonna go try to find some and uh, if not, we're going to troll value, but it's going to be bad. So it's really cold. It's like 30 degrees. And uh, I don't know. Right now, sure. See you out there. All right. Showed up to the wreck. There's a whole bunch of boats here. And we got bait. Nice blue fish. Yes. Hell of a grade. Yeah. Look at the grade of these things, dude. Oh, I love that for us. We need to put a, a bucket of water in there, too. Yeah. What? Good grade, good grade. Oh man. Oh yes. Lost one. I'll get him. I'll, I'm gonna put him over the live over. That works too. Yeah, why not? Done? Yeah. We're done? Yeah. All right. Boys and girls, let's go. Well, the season started super slow. We spent the majority of our time fighting off sharks, not getting bit. It was bad for everybody until day three. Oh, lost it, shark. Baby. All right, happy day three. We are not having fun. <laughs> Same as last time, third day, no bites. They doubled. It's been very slow today. No one's had a bite for six hours. They doubled. He just got bit. Uh, there's six or seven boats in here that claim they've gotten a bite to others fighting fish, but it's been a really slow season. We're on the east side of the point right here. Never had great luck over here, but who knows? Maybe it'll change. Or at least there's bait. Could be worse. You could be fishing for three days without a bike again while there's someone doubled in front of you with two guys on the boat. Oh, about to dart it. 
Anyways, check in with you guys later. In between sharks and rigging up another rod, we had to put the Makaira out. And that's apparently all the luck that we needed. Keep on going. Here you go. Here you go. Get the other rod. Get the other rod. Is it him? Go, fish, go. Come on. That's him. Oh, cool. On this. You push it up just past this past strike. But before we get on to the video, I need to thank today's sponsor, Aura. Have you ever Googled your name or your address or your phone number and seen how much of that information pops up linked back to your name? It's kind of unsettling. It really is, especially in today's day and age of AI and data brokers just selling everybody's information. My mind has been put to ease completely by Aura. Data brokers sell your information to spammers, scammers, and hackers that may want to target you. Your full name, email, phone number, medical records, it's all out there on the internet. That's why I've been using Aura, today's video sponsor. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and submits automatic opt-out forms so that scam and spam and phone calls don't happen anymore. Cleaning up my information not only helps the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from hackers that could try to use my information to hack into my bank account, my social media account, my YouTube account, all of that. Aura also does so much more to protect me and my family from online threats that I cannot see. It's super duper easy to set up. You don't have to download a bunch of apps to get like an antivirus and VPN password management, parental controls, identity theft, insurance. I get everything at one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools, but not using Aura is like locking the front door, but leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing work and just gives me the peace of mind that I'm always safe from scammers and hackers and spammers. I value my privacy. I value yours as well. You can go to Aura.com slash JoeVT to start your two week free trial with Aura. All of Aura's information is below in the description. You will seriously not believe how many data brokers have your information and are selling it off. Aura will stop that. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring the video and enjoy. Here, let me get this. I'm gaining inches right now. Let Brandon know. He's coming to starboard. Yep, that's perfect. Dunk me. One in the one in the Perfect. So the swim hook is in between the cooler and the. Might as well get the dart road out while we have a second. Might as well get the dart road out while we have a second. Yep, perfect. He's taking line. Oh, 
won't go towards the fleet fish fleas. that boat right underneath their boat tell them to turn to port see him white trips might be a Yamaha yep yep he's pulling right now We're not gaining anything. Okay. Here we go. He is going right to him. Right in the fleet, baby. Switch out a sec. Coming. Right. Yeah. Nice. You were getting close to him. Just do one. He's charging, charging, charging. Okay. Charging again, charging again. Tight, we're tight, we're good. Oh, big head shakes. Coming to starboard. Should see him here in a sec. I say that. Knock it. Coming hard to starboard. Here he is right there. See him? Okay, hold on. He's right here. Okay. There he is right there. Yep. Yep. Short leader. Huh? Short leader. All right, you see where he's going? Perfect. Perfect. Keep on swinging, keep on swinging.
might get a shot here. Let me try to turn him around. Uh. Yeah. Okay, don't freak out, fish. He's turning the other way. We're gonna get our shot right here, buddy. It's gonna be on the other side of the boat. We are gonna get our shot though. Be patient. Maybe this side of the boat. Oh, skate him in. Keeper? Oh yeah. Get his ass. Nice shot, buddy. Oh yeah, you good. Good bled. Um. <laughs> All right. You got it. I do. Okay, we need to let some line out on the front. Oh yeah. Slow down a little bit. I should be able to just lift them up. Yeah. He did already. Oh, he did. Holy, you got him. Toggled. <laughs> you got him through. You freaking got the dart the whole way through. Do you think you hit him hard enough? Oh my god. I want my damn tip back. Yeah. That's funny. I love bluefin tuna fishing. How about that? He's moving a little bit. Happy 2024, buddy. Woo! Well, we were cussing him like a dog all day. It's only like 1.15. It feels like we, it feels like it should be almost about night right now. But, oh, where is he? I'm used to the big fish. He's all the way up here. It's perfect about 80 inch fish. Nice, quick and easy, manageable in between. Man, it's an ungodly amount of boats out right here. Oh my God. Let's see, we got four. 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 boats. There's like four other boats that caught fish. 30 boats. Found one more. Mine's a 40 boat. He's already bleeding good. It was a short fight, so I'm not really too worried about swimming them. There's not much lactic acid buildup. Didn't pull hard. Didn't really get any good runs out of him. Um, so I'm okay with him bleeding right now. He's just still kind of moving, but... I'm gonna go ahead and cut him real quick just for fun. Um, and yeah, we got a fish. Happy, happy 2024. All right, so right here, what I'm gonna be doing is gutting the fish. I felt like I'd do a voiceover talk through. So first you're gonna cut right above the anus and you're gonna pull out the innards on the back. There's four pieces and that completely disconnects everything from you know, the rest of the inside of the fish. So what you can do is you can cut right there and you can just pull everything straight out in one big giant piece. If it all goes to plan, but it just makes it really, really easy to get everything out of there. What this does is makes it so the core meat will cool down quicker because all of those, you know, all those guts and stuff will be hot. With that cold water rushing through, it's about, you know, high high 50s, low 60s right here. So that'll just make the meat better quality and we'll get a better dollar per pound for the price, ideally. Ow, holy, he's got hooked. 
He is very gut hooked. Oh yeah. It was in his stomach. <laughs> this is where the leader was at the end of his mouth. Right here. <laughs> That's called getting gut hooked, son. Gut hook is gut hook good. Yeah. I cut his stomach off. I was cutting his stomach off and I grabbed his stomach and the hook was in there. What are you eating, buddy? There's our bluefish. he's gonna get this will be great huh this will be great yeah i'll get this part okay <laughs> you rip rip? i hope not We gotta have that side down. The side that's down right now, we need to keep it down. A little more. A little more. A little more. Oh, don't flip over, please. Nice. Easy. Apparently we don't need it. Ha! Huh. That was a simple fix. Huh? That was a simple fix. How about that? We were dropping down to catch a couple bluefish for the pen with the Christmas tree rig and this little jig there. Look at that! We got a little bit of dinner. We didn't know the regulations on this thing, so luckily the Fish Rules app, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you can look up regulations offshore outside of cell service in any area. Uh, and so we found out 12 inch minimum here in North Carolina. So this guy is going to be dinner. We caught some sea bass yesterday too. so. Taking chunks out of my bait. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Here we are again. Definitely not as crowded. We knew it wasn't going to be as crowded because there wasn't a lot of fish killed today, so we spent a lot of time uh, catching some extra bait, which was difficult to find. And so we're getting here a little bit late, but no line. Perfect size. Fight a fish like that. Huh? Fight a fish like that. Rod holder.
Alrighty. Here we are once again. Well, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna let these boys do their work. If you wanna see a video of a gigantic fish being processed, click right there. If you wanna see a video of a gigantic one being processed, but this little cute guy, I will show you the tail sample because I'm curious how fatty it is. It felt very, very oily when I was gutting it. But yeah. Proof. <laughs> Honey, we did catch fish. I promised we went through to visit. Promise. Where's your favorite, favorite place to eat? Here. I haven't eaten out. Favorite place? I mean, if you want to get consistent food, is Amos Mosquitoes over yeah, the beach. Yeah, we went there the other night. We were there last night. Last missed, night, yeah. We missed Wednesday. We missed the pork chop last night. Oh, yeah. They got, I mean, their food's consistent. Yeah. You know, every time. It's That's a well-ran establishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandy is a really good guy. Yeah, he looks out for One of the better looking fish we've had. Maybe it's weird because it's like I have a light on it, but I just saw like a little bit of rainbow in the fish. Did you? Maybe. Well, I see a little bit. I don't know. It might just be because it's a little bit. Or it might just be from the extreme yeah, light. This is the worst time of day to see. Yeah. It looks really good. The fluorescent lights are blue. The what you call it, the um, halogen light, the, the yeah. LEDs are too white. <laughs> you can't get a good. Yeah, I might see some, maybe. What do you look for in the core? Like just, um, just firmness? Yeah, well, firmness you want clarity. That's that's the key. If it's like cloudy, maybe it might be a little bit yucky. If it's like I've seen stuff coming off long liners, you put it in there and you can just feel it when you put this in. How soft on. it is. It's soft and it comes out, it's like baby. Yeah. It's one uniformity. It looks like a nice and I guess what I mean that looks good, it'll firm up even more once you put it nice. Oh yeah. And, and taking the core just in in yeah. yeah, that's good. That's nice and uniform, I guess. I don't know. Sounds good. Mm. One eight seven. Yeah, uh, one eight seven is a good guess. I might go like one seventy. One seventy even. I'm looking at it from this side. Yeah, I'm going one seventy one. I knew it. I was right yeah. on the first time. I said 220 on the boat. Dang. 227. Yeah. Running 220. Yeah. 224. 224. Huh. I was right when it was in the water. I never should have doubted myself. We nipped. Yeah, both of us shouldn't have doubted ourselves today. Yeah, you're good. On the way. Alright, folks. Good, good deal. Yeah, Alright. I'm looking at daylight. Yeah, I wanna go I wanna look at it too. By the way, sword knife's still doing awesome. Yeah. Easy to sharpen. Yeah. Still going down. strong. Uh, if you want to, yeah, there's fun. Let's see, what side, what is this one? Oh, this one doesn't have a, yeah, this is the medium flex. Yeah, they have one that's stiffer. Just stiffer? Yeah, I'll be bringing yeah, you guys. Cut yeah, yeah. I'll be bringing you guys some uh, next year for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. 
You got a sheen on it? Not sure who's thank you. Okay. Looks like it's a little light colored right there. Light like color as in fatty? Like, no, like to my you see the fat around out there? Yeah. But if you come in here, you really don't see the fat and it's just a little lighter colored. When we cut it up tomorrow, it might go away, but you just see that little light color. It's not yeah, the yeah. fat. Yeah, it's, just, see the, it's like an, I don't know, does it look burnt? They call it Yamai, which is like a slight discoloration. Uh, and hopefully, generally, sometimes when you cut it up a little farther, it goes away. Okay. And There's a little bit of blood mixed in there, too. Yeah. And the core, it's kind of hard to tell with this, but it doesn't look burned or anything like yeah. that right now. But we'll see it tomorrow. We're, well, actually, we're not going to probably get this out until Monday. Okay. I'm shifting in. You know, let's fish up in the market. It'll probably help it out. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Perfect. Excellent, gentlemen. Thank you yep. very much. Pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Enjoy Hope to see you tomorrow. in a couple of days. Yeah. Hopefully, we get out Sunday. We'll see. Yep. Hello, everybody. So I am in a hotel in Dallas visiting my brother and my new uh, niece. That's pretty cool family development, Uncle Joe. I feel like laying on a bed for this would be awkward. How about I stand up and not be weird? Most I've ever had anything commented on a video is what was the price of the 119 inch, AKA longer than 10 foot long tuna. I'll get as detailed as I possibly can. Big fish do not get a great dollar per pound. It's a lot easier for an individual restaurant or a sushi restaurant to get a smaller core because, you know, 600 pounds of core is like 550 pounds of fillets. It's pretty much all meat. And that's a lot of fish for an individual restaurant to go to. The smaller cores usually get flown to Japan. Anything under about 350 pounds usually goes to Japan. That's kind of what you used to want in the past because you would get better prices. However, we're in the year of our Lord 2024 where everything is ridiculously expensive. Almost no cores are going to Japan right now because it costs so much to get them there. It's just not worth sending them. So almost every fish this year, I think all of our fish stay domestic. That's the first time that's ever happened. Other issue with that fish, it was really skinny, okay? Put it in perspective, the 119 inch fish poured out at like 637 I think something like that two that was the leanest fish that we've ever caught two years ago we caught 112 and a half inch fish that poured out at 625 and that was the fattiest fish that we've ever sold and to add it on top of that we had a buddy who caught a 108 inch fish that's full weight was 950 so it poured out like 750 I believe seven it was over 700 pounds so it just shows you the range of fattiness that those fish get um, to their size. Every single chart said that fish should have been around 1,100 pounds, but it was so skinny, it was only 850 whole weight. It doesn't matter to me. 119 inch fish is the biggest one I'll ever catch. I'm very, I can die happy now. So what do you get from a giant fish and a really lean fish? You don't get that good of a price. Um, we, we take really, really good care of our fish. If you wanna see a super detailed video, like I said earlier, the that, this video that's on the screen will be down below um, in the description. Click on it to really cool, interesting, educational video. I would implore you to do so. John and I said if we got four dollars a pound for that fish, we would be ecstatic. We did not get four dollars a pound. We didn't get three fifty a pound. We got a little bit over three dollars a pound. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. There was a f multiple fish this year that didn't get profit sold fish and it did so poorly at market that after all the cuts the fisherman was screwed the way that the selling works is the buyer is at a marina the buyer takes a cut the marina takes a cut the fisherman has to pay for the shipping or the freighting and the flying to get wherever it's going to go to market and then the market that it sells at also takes a cut so even though these fish might sell for 20 to 30 maybe $40 a pound at market, the fishermen are getting under 10% of that usually. It's not good. <laughs> this is not something to get rich off of. There's some people that make good money on it, but those are people that do it all year long and are just very talented fishermen. We do it because we love it and it's fun. Um, and even though we spent, shoot, 20 days this year fishing for these things, uh, 
We did not even, even make close to having any kind of profit. We just do it because we love it. So there you go. It's not a $10,000 fish or a $20,000 fish like you guys were saying. I really wish it was. That'd be super cool. I think the best price that I heard this year was maybe $7 a pound. It was not a good year. Not a good year for prices um, for a couple different reasons. Mainly because everything is super expensive. But just to show you a little clarity on that. Yeah, that's, that's, pretty, much, that's pretty much it. If you guys like that video, please subscribe. Bluefin soon to season is done, unfortunately. But... It is big yellowfin season. So if you like big tunas or if you like big bottom fish and groupers and snappers and wahoo, you better subscribe because a lot of that stuff is coming. I've been fishing in Venice. The fishing has been good. You don't want to miss what's coming. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.